I'm Dr. Misha Zilibermint. I'm a Chief and Director of Endocrinology, Diabetes and Metabolism here at Suburban Hospital. We have a collaborative team of a full-time endocrinologist and a nurse practitioner, and we also work closely with the dietary department and the pharmacy department to make sure that all patients who need help with their diabetes while they're at the Suburban Hospital can get some extra help. So today there is not enough data to suggest that patients with diabetes are more likely to get COVID-19. However, we know that patients with diabetes are at higher risk for complications associated with COVID-19. Some of those complications could include severe hyperglycemia or high blood sugar. Um, patients who are admitted to the hospital require oxygen and those who require oxygen usually require dexamethasone or steroid treatment. And steroid has a side effect of raising blood sugar. That's why it's so important to keep your blood sugar under control. Some of the glucometers, so machine to check your sugars and also a continuous glucose monitor may not be able to sense the sugar levels correctly. So you have to read the instructions and make sure that um, uh, your glucometer is compatible with some of the medications. If you have type 1 diabetes and your sugar levels register more than 240 mg per deciliter on more than two occasions in a row, there is a chance that you are developing a diabetes ketoacidosis, which is a life-threatening complication of type 1 diabetes. I strongly encourage you to check your ketone levels uh, or call your primary care physician or your endocrinologist. And if your levels are moderate or high, you may need some sort of an intervention. So please be aware of this. So as you know, Medicare and other health insurances expanded the coverage for telemedicine. So if you have a primary care physician or an endocrinologist, I strongly encourage you not to sit at home, schedule a telemedicine appointment. And also, if you are admitted to suburban hospital with COVID-19, then please ask to be seen by an inpatient diabetes management service team. And if you or your loved one is struggling to pay for insulin or you know someone who lost the health insurance recently, please go to the website www.insulinhelp.org. This is a American Diabetes Association website which helps people to get insulin even if they don't have money or health insurance. So first of all, I would like you to be prepared. Make sure you have a list of your medications, make sure you have phone numbers of your physicians. If you have readings from your glucometer or a continuous glucose monitoring system, please bring them with you. That would help the admitting team to know um, what kind of medications you are on. And also, I would like to encourage you again, please wear a mask and wash your hands on a regular basis, avoid, avoid large crowds. Um, and those are the key points.